Hey, this is Ryan with Web Eminence. Thanks for watching this video. I'm doing a quick walkthrough on adding products to your WooCommerce store. Uh, this tutorial is meant for my clients who I've built a WooCommerce store for, but this should also be useful to those of you out there who are investigating using WooCommerce um, for an e-commerce store and maybe you want to see how easy or difficult it is to add products. So you can go ahead and watch this and should give you some good information about how the uh, WooCommerce platform works on the back end. So when you log into your WordPress site with a WooCommerce plugin installed, you're gonna see these two options on the left. WooCommerce has a lot of uh, general options and information about orders that have come through. And then the products menu where you set up your products and manage your site. So that's where we're gonna spend our time today on this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on products. That's gonna take me to a list of the products that are already added in the store. I'm using an example site for a client that I've been working on. So we're gonna go ahead and click on one of these products to show you how to add a product. And in this case, obviously we're editing an existing product. So up here you have a title for the product. And here is the main description. So you can add text in here. The best way to add text is to copy, to type it directly or to add, or sorry, copy and paste from maybe another program. And the best way to do that is to right click in here and select paste as plain text or click this paste as plain text button and then paste your text in this box. And that will ensure that there's no extra formatting that might be added from a program like Microsoft Word. And you can add formatting yourself with this text editor. You can change color, bold, italics, etc. Now I'm using a theme from Elegant Themes called Foxy. So I'll go ahead and show you live what that looks like for the product we're currently editing. So here's the title of the product. And if you click on it, You'll see the title up here, and this is where the, actually down here is where the product description will show that is typed in this box. If you scroll down, here's all your product data. You can select different types of products. On this website, I'm using simple products, variable products that have variations such as fl different flavors, different sizes, and I'm actually using a subscription extension to sell monthly subscriptions. So this product is variable, so I'll show you what that looks like. Here's a general tab where you can add a SKU. Inventory allows you to manage stock and inventory. I'm not using that for this site. Shipping allows you to add different shipping classes and shipping credentials like weight and dimensions. Linked products allows you to create upsells and cross-sells to sell other products that are related to this product. I'm not using that for this site. Attributes I am using on this product and there's two ways I'm using attributes on this site. And the first one is for a variation. So if we go back to this product, you can see there's a flavor variation. So we have chocolate and vanilla cream for this product. So the way I add that is by clicking add to create an attribute. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this one because I already have the flavor created up here. I click this little arrow to drop down the information. So the attribute is named flavor. And then you actually separate the values with a vertical bar here on your keyboard. So you type them in and then separate them with this character and then I click used for variations if you want it to be a variation like a drop down box on the product page. So I'm going to go ahead and close that. The other attributes I'm using for this product are size and ingredients and these aren't used for variations but they're visible on the product page so I have this box checked here. And it's just some information. It, this tells you the size of the product and the ingredients, attribute is just listing the ingredients. 
So on this particular theme, this information shows up on the additional information tab and it's formatted in this table here. So here you have ingredients and here you have size. So you can add additional attributes by clicking attribute or add button. And when you're done editing all that information, you have to click save attributes. The next tab is advanced. There's menu order and some other custom features in here that I'm not using for, for this site. And then variations is where we set up the flavor variation. So we've already created the attributes, which tells the system what are the different flavors. But here we're telling the system to use the flavor attributes for a flavor variation. So it's a little confusing, but once you do it a few times, it'll make sense. So what I did is I clicked add variation and I selected any flavor and put in a price. So you could actually, for different variations, like I could have a chocolate variation have different stock quantities, a regular price, sale price, it might have different dimensions if it's different size. In this case, all the information is the same. We just want the customer to be able to tell us which flavor they want. So if I wanted different information for different variations, I would click Add Variation and then I would make this one chocolate and I would make this one vanilla cream and then I'd enter all the different information for each product. But for this product I don't need two variations. I only need the one price and so I set this to any flavor. There's no save button here but by clicking the update button on the upper right that will save your variations. So on this site I'm not using custom fields. Product short description works the same way as the product um, information up here but it'll actually show right next to your product image right here. at least in this theme. Depending on what theme you're using in WooCommerce, this could all be formatted differently. So that takes us to the bottom. So let's go down this right column. This is where you publish your changes or preview your changes. Catalog visibility is important. You'll leave this on catalog search as default. If you click Featured Product, that would actually show the product on the home page as a featured item down here. So we're going to leave that off. Product Categories, you'll need to select which category your product is in, and this will allow people to search and um, browse by category. So this one has Drinks selected. You can also add product tags, which I'm not using on this site. This is just another way to categorize your products. For example, you might put chocolate here or different descriptions so people can browse by flavor and things like that. You can add different products to a product gallery. I'm using a featured image, which is then formatted for different uses throughout the site. Here it creates a thumbnail and on the product page it's a larger image and down here the image is actually used as a small thumbnail for the shopping cart. So you only have to add the image one time in a large size. I'm adding images for this site in about this size, maybe a little bit larger. I think it's 500 by 500 and then the theme is automatically resizing the image for all the different uses. So I'll go back to the product page and show you how to add an image. First I'll remove this featured image. You click set featured image and you either need to click upload files 
or if you already have files uploaded, you can select the file. So most times you're going to be clicking upload files and then click select files to browse your computer. In this case, I'm going to use the file from the media library because it's already uploaded. So you just click the image and click set featured image. So there you see the featured image is set and you will need to click update to update that information. So that's how easy it is to add products to a WooCommerce store. There's a lot more details and settings you could get into, but I was trying to keep that simple to explain the basic process of adding products to this specific site. And it'll be different depending on the details of your products in your online store. So you can always go into these products. You can add new ones and edit existing products over on the left hand side under the products menu there's a link to add product here you can edit your categories and your tags shipping classes and attributes and again all your settings for your woocommerce store are under the woocommerce menu here and i may go into detail on some of these different um, settings and functions for woocommerce in future videos so make sure to subscribe if you're on youtube or uh, subscribe to my blog so you don't miss any future videos that I create to help you out with WooCommerce. So thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video.